Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Box and Reviews on How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at Russell Hobbs Quick Boil Kettle, which doesn't cost a fortune. This is the Russell Hobbs 23911. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at Russell Hobbs Fast Boil Kettle. This uh, claims to boil a cup of water in less than 45 seconds. I'm not entirely sure if that is going to work out or not, but certainly we will be giving it a practical test in the video, so we'll find out for sure. We'll also be taking a look at the packaging, see what we get, look at pricing, etc., quality, all those kinds of things, and actually see if this is going to be the kettle for you. A slight detour from what we usually do on the channel, but hey, there's no GPU, so let's make a cup of tea. So first of all, taking a look at the packaging, as you can see there, so this is from Russell Hobbs, uh, stainless steel kettle. They do this in two versions, so this is the polished version, there's also a brushed metal one as well, and also for those of you that like to have a matching set, they also do a very nice two slice or four slice toaster in both varieties. So we've got up to a three year guarantee, now that is a little bit of an odd one. As default, you get a two year warranty from Russell Hobbs, the manufacturer. But if you register the product online on their website, they will give you an additional year's warranty. So for three-year warranty for a kettle which costs just under £20 here in the UK, that's actually not too bad. It also mentions about the perfect pour spout. Uh, that is something which really does bother me with kettles. You get a lot of these kettles, especially some of the cheaper ones, and even actually saying that some of the more expensive ones, where you go to pour your drink and most of it ends up on your countertop or uh, splashbacks, all that kind of stuff, and it's just a messy experience. So we're going to be trying this on the desk to see if we get any spills. And also it says we save up to 66% of energy. Now, that is a little bit misleading. I guess it does kind of work out. So if you're actually only making one cup of tea and you put in exactly one cup of water, then yes, it will quick boil, won't be on for so long, so it will save energy. Most of us, I think, generally when we're filling up our kettle, you stick it under the tap, chuck a bunch of water in there and just wait for the sucker to boil. And if there's enough for the next cup of tea, great. If there isn't, just top it up again. But we will be trying it out with a single one cup to see how well it actually does. This is a 3000 watt kettle, so in theory it should actually boil pretty quick, and it's got a capacity of 1.7 litres. Moving around onto the side of the box, and it basically says exactly what I've just said. Inside, actually, quite an interesting little feature is there are actually indentations inside the actual boiling chamber to give you the one cup, two cup, or three cup level, so you can work out your settings exactly. Also as well, there is a removable and washable filter, which I guess, depending where you live, that may or may not be necessary. For us here living in the southwest, our water tends to be very hard, and we do get a lot of lime scale, so that is certainly going to be helpful for uh, removing any uh, anomalies from our brew. The base itself is a 360 degree base, so you can put the kettle down on any angle you prefer. That is pretty much a standard thing these days, and also you've got integrated cord storage. So let's open it up and see what we actually get. So to begin with, we get the Russell Hobbs uh, instruction guide, and also there's an option there to win £10,000, so yep, definitely worth doing there. We get the 360 degree base, and also three pin plug installed as default. If you want to, you can actually make this cable longer, depending on how you want to. So it has got its own kind of integrated cable management. And at the full extent, we're looking round about a metre in length or three foot thereabouts. Also inside, there's an option to uh, turn you into an alcoholic. And finally, we come to the kettle itself. Now this is uh, in the uh, polished finish, so it is extremely reflective. So if you're planning on selling items in your kitchen and you're taking pictures for Facebook, obviously uh, make sure you've got your pants on. But yeah, it's a nice looking kettle, really nicely balanced. There is, again, as I mentioned on the side, it goes in to tell you on here about the three cup marker and all that kind of stuff and the easy pour spout. It's got a really nice easy grip handle, which is uh, easy for left or right handed people. I actually like this because there's no kind of join at the bottom, so if you've got large hands, small hands, whatever, it's going to be absolutely fine. Feels really good and yeah, very sturdy. The handle doesn't seem to have any flex in it at all, so yeah, that's a really good sign. We've also got some stickers on there, so it says again the uh, fast boil one cup, 45 seconds, save up to 66% of energy again, and the perfect pour spout. We've got the Russell Hobbs logo on the bottom there. Also, they've got our on off. Also with the safety switch as well, so it won't power on unless it's actually got electricity going to it. Also, it's got things like boil dry technology, so if the kettle runs out of water, it'll automatically cut off and overheat protection, all those kinds of usual things that we expect to see on a modern kettle. On the base, got a nice round base, pretty much the universal kind of fitting on there. So you can just put it onto the base 
on any angle you want and if you're a lefty you can pick it up on the left hand side if you're a righty you can pick it up on the right hand side yeah, you get the general idea the lid itself is actually something which i really do prefer so this is one of your kind of spring-loaded caps so all you do is put the cap on the top and that is it just removes really easy you don't have one of those mechanical buttons which can often get jammed up or just basically stop working after a period of time as some of our other ones actually have in the past so yeah really like that and it's also because it's plastic it's double insulated so you're not going to burn yourself although it is a little bit close to the metal edges on here so if you've got water level which is quite high and you're boiling this is going to obviously radiate some heat so obviously do be careful make sure you grab it from where it's intended looking inside you can see there is the uh, the three markings on the bottom there so depending on how many cups you actually want to boil you can set it up for one two or three again depending where you're filling this up from if you're using filtered water which uh, you really should do then it's going to be pretty easy to see but if you've got a, uh, a tap in there then it might be a little bit difficult to see i would have liked to have seen a, uh, a marker of some sort on the side to give you a level indication although for cleaning purposes this is perfect because if it does get kind of scaled up a little bit on the inside no one's any the wiser also inside is the removable filter for uh getting rid of impurities out of your water and your brew so that's really good and that is uh, a nice plastic unit in there which slots in really nice and easily so no faffing around with that one thing i do like is this easy pour spout so this has been bonded or welded i'm not entirely sure how it's been done but it's uh, it seems to be done very very well there's no obvious join or seam there just it just fits very flushly and in theory should pour you the perfect cuppa without spilling it all over your desk one thing some of you may not like is the actual finish on this the the polished so the polish actually is not a very highly polished there are a lot of lines in it as well almost like a brushed effect but going the wrong way so yeah it's uh it's not a perfect finish on there by any means which you can probably see from the b-roll in the b-roll you can see some of the reflections and you although you can see somebody in there it's not perfectly clear but certainly it does look quite nice so I think that's pretty much for the unboxing and go through some of the specifications. Let's see if it actually lives up to the hype and whether or not it can boil our cup of water in 45 seconds. So potentially this could be a viral video if this blows up. So uh, let's try it first of all. So we're gonna tip our water in. So you can see there, there is one cup of water. Put it on the base, attach the lid, and uh, yeah, let's see how quickly it boils. Start up pretty quickly. Doesn't appear to be any uh, LED on this or anything to actually tell you that it's on. But certainly you can hear it. And it sounds pretty aggressive. got steam wow that actually is pretty quick i'm not sure exactly what the time is i will put some on the bottom there so we can see exactly how long it took but it was 16 when i started it's still 14 16 now so it's definitely less than a minute well i think it's anyway We'll see when we come to uh, edit the video. But yeah, seems to live up to the hype. So there our water. Now let's see if it actually does spill when we pour it out. Not a single drip down the spout. I'm actually very impressed. That's pretty cool. So now we've got our steaming hot boiling water ready to make a cup of tea. You've seen the kettle in action, so is this going to be the kettle for you? Again, at the moment on Amazon.co.uk, this is currently retailing for about £19, which, uh, yeah, is a fantastic deal, I think. Certainly there are other options, budget options, which we've reviewed in the past, which you can check out up here. I think actually for a, uh, a relatively well-known brand, such as Russell Hobbs, for less than 20 quid, a rather stylish and fast boiling kettle, yeah, gets a thumbs up from me. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next brew.
Thanks for watching.